Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Mike Cohill, president of the West Bay Region, and I welcome you to this ceremonial event. This event will kick off the construction of two new state-of-the-art earthquake-safe hospitals in San Francisco. One hospital here on this site in the center of San Francisco, and a second hospital at the St. Luke's campus at Cesar Chavez and Valencia streets in the growing neighborhoods of the south east section of the city. Today is a pivotal point in the history of California Pacific Medical Center and for the healthcare system in San Francisco. For 150 years, CPMC has been an important part of this city, providing citizens with the most advanced medical care available. With the construction of our two new hospitals, we will be in position to continue serving the medical needs of the residents of San Francisco for decades to come. We also have with us the President of the Board of Supervisors, David Chu, and Supervisor Mark Farrell. Both supervisors, along with David Campos, were the three who helped negotiate the final agreement which moved this project forward. We all appreciate the dedication of each of you through to final approval. Also, we cannot proceed without acknowledging one person who was truly vital to the success of our development agreement, Lou Gerardo. He led a series of very frank and uh, positive, productive discussions that helped move us forward through two approvals and the start of construction today. His help in this process and his service to the city of San Francisco is greatly appreciated. Judy Lee is here. Judy lived and breathed this project as well for several years with CPMC and helped guide the internal processes. Thank you very much, Judy. And I would like to thank Dr. Warren Browner, the CEO of CPMC. Your leadership and commitment kept driving us toward the goal of building two new world-class hospitals in San Francisco. Thank you for keeping us on track. We're working very closely with City Build and the Construction Administration Professional Service Academy to fill hospital construction jobs that will be take part in this project. We're dedicated and committed to San Francisco and look forward to working with all the trades to bring our construct to, to augment our construction crews and begin these projects. Members of our construction management team are here. The construction of our two hospitals is being led by our general contractor, Herrera Bolt. Our architect is Smith Group. We will also be working with over 100 trade partners, subcontractors, and consultants to this project. About our construction schedule, and we do have one. The demolition of this existing building actually began in September with so-called soft demolition, which clears the way for us to actually bring down this structure. So we are underway. The very public process, the demolition, starts in a couple of weeks. I'm sure everyone is looking forward to that stage of the work. Evac ex evacuation. evacuation happened several months ago. Excavation will start in April, followed by foundation pour and steel rising in June and July. Construction of the hospital at the St. Luke's campus will begin with excavation in February of 2015. Both hospitals are scheduled to be open in 2019 or sooner. We look forward to a successful project on time and on budget with worker safety being our main focus. We have a number of guests with us today, Mayor Lee, Mike Terrio, the San Francisco Building Trades Council, Dr. Michael Rokich, Chief of Staff at CPMC's Pacific Campus, and Marilyn Logan, Nurse Supervisor at St. Luke's. I'd like to ask Mayor Lee to step up to the podium. Mr. Mayor.
Mike, thank you very much to you and to Warren uh, for working with us again. Uh, this is a day that we've looked forward to for quite some time. And I also know that our community partners have looked forward to this because they worked really hard with our Board of Supervisors, with Lou Gerardo, to come together with our health officials and make an agreement that is right for San Francisco. Uh, and I know this is the first of two announcements that we look forward to. Uh, this campus, invaluable in the center of where a lot of activity are, will have at least a 302 bed hospital, seismically safe. And then we look forward to having a similar announcement very soon on the St. Luke's uh, campus, uh, similarly to create a seismically safe hospital there as well. Uh, I can't tell you how excited we are about this. And we will remind each other that the process, as arduous as it was, uh, has to be credited with the leadership that the Board of Supervisors had. I want to thank uh, my colleagues there, Board President Chu, uh, Mark Farrell, David Campos, for working so hard using their personal time as well as their time on the board to lead the effort uh, along with our office, along with Ken Rich, uh, who is working really hard. Lou Gerardo continues to work today, by the way, to make sure communications are open. Our colleagues would labor invaluable in all respects. Uh, and I want to signal to them uh, that as we are excited about getting this site going, I also want to make sure we signal, uh, as any other project, that the worker's safety also begins right now with the demolition. And we want this site to be safe because ultimately it will be occupied by some of the greatest medical profession and nurses and doctors working together to save and improve lives while we build this. We also want every life to be safe as well. So let's start that out in the right footing. Uh, then I want to signal to the community, and I know uh, good friends like Randy Shaw and others are here because we saw the connection uh, with this very uh, close-knit community. We've already gotten the first check from Sutter uh, that represents a healthy uh, investment. Uh, housing, uh, transportation, pedestrian safety, and of course, the thousands of medical lives and Medi-Cal and uh, hospital patient lives uh, that will be improved as a result of the commitments that Sutter CPMC have made as part of this wonderful community benefits package. Uh, when you look at all of this, you'll just kind of, I think, pause and, and maybe ask, how did we do it all? And I think uh, we'll always remember that as complicated as it was, everybody persevered. Uh, whether it was our labor leaders, the board, Lou Gerardo, our community leaders, uh, our housing advocates, our uh, people uh, next door in the Tenderloin, or the people uh, who are our uh, health experts, uh, they all worked closely together with the center leadership to forge a very unique agreement, uh, an agreement that I think, uh, complicated as it was, as high level of a commitment that Sutter had to make, uh, but it is, uh, I think, a great investment in our city, an investment that uh, is innovative, strong, uh, and is already being delivered. So we have every promise here that this reflects uh, all the values that our city has put together and its process, as complicated it was, uh, perseveres in everybody's leadership for the best thing we can do for our city. So on behalf of everyone uh, that has worked hard to get here, I want to thank, again, uh, Mark and Warren for your leadership and uh, Sutter's board, CPMC's uh, leadership here, but everybody who see the benefits of this and see into the future what we will do. In years to come, you will see a very good, solid campus of medical professions serving us in so many different ways and that take care of so many other challenges that this project represents. So uh, I want to thank everybody for their leadership, and we'll remember uh, that this was a combination of a lot of good efforts by everybody. Uh, I am so lucky to be the mayor here where people signal the collaboration it needs to bring this project forward. Thank you very much to everyone.
I'll introduce myself, uh, Michael Terrio, San Francisco Building and Construction Trades Council, and we are so happy that this day has arrived. We've been working on behalf of this project for what seems like forever. Um, it would have been nice if it had happened a couple of years ago when uh, we were starving, but we'll take it now. Uh, and it means something very different now, whereas a couple of years ago it would have meant we were putting our existing workforce back to work. What it will mean now is a real opportunity to bring San Franciscans into our apprenticeships and into our trades and to give them uh, a, um, an instruction in those trades in a complicated and demanding project, because that's what this is. Hospital projects are more demanding than almost any other. Uh, the mechanical and electrical systems that are life critical in any building become hypercritical in a hospital project. The structural systems that have to be f fully sound in any other building have to withstand even more in a hospital, and the inspection uh, is at a much higher degree as a result of that. And we in the unionized construction trades are exactly the folks to do that work. Uh, our national building trades has the uh, motto value on display every day. We will display that value here. Uh, we train our folks to a higher level than our competition, and we will have the opportunity to show you how that works when we build this project. Uh, we're very grateful for that, and we are grateful to uh, the city family, Mayor Lee, Supervisor Farrell, uh, Supervisor Chu, Supervisor Campos, wherever you may be today, uh, and um, CPMC uh, in, in uh, delivering uh, us this project to build. And I want to embarrass the guy sitting in the cab of the crane over there. His name is Vince, and I worked with him for years in the field. He's going to do a great job getting this started for you. And uh, on his behalf and on behalf of all the workers here, I'd like to have a little round of applause for the workers who will do this work. Thanks a lot. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Michael Rokic, and I'm the current Chief of Staff of the Medical Staff at CPMC. To Mr. Mayor and all invited guests, this is indeed a momentous occasion for California Pacific Medical Center and the entire San Francisco community. Though no one can deny that the planning process has been arduous and sometimes painful, likewise they cannot deny that the outcome will be well worth the wait. I have been a part of the CPMC medical staff for nearly 40 years. From the initial years as Lane Hospital, then Stanford Hospital, to Presbyterian Hospital and Pacific Medical Center, to the combining of Children's Hospital, PMC, Davies and St. Luke's into today's California Pacific Medical Center, we have kept to our mission of providing the highest quality medical care in a compassionate and dignified manner to all the citizens of this great city. Soon we will have the opportunity of providing such care inside a world-class institution that will merge the latest innovation and technology with a medical and nursing staff that prides itself in putting the patient first. At the same time, we will meet the legislative mandate to create two state-of-the-art seismically sound hospitals that will be ready to serve the Bay Area community should, should such a disaster befall us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who spent their time, energy, and resources supporting CPMC and St. Luke's in their rebuild project, as they clearly understood the importance of this project to all the dedicated providers who for many years have dreamed of hospital facilities they and their patients truly deserve. As the chief of the medical staff and an emergency physician, and as a patient at CPMC on more than one occasion, and most probably in the future too, today is a wonderful day for me, my fellow medical staff members, and most importantly, all the patients who will be cared for in our new and beautiful medical centers. Thank you. Good morning, Mayor Lee, Dr. Browner, Mr. Cohill, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marilyn Logan. I am the nurse manager of the medical surgical unit at the St. Luke's campus. It is truly an honor for me to be here today 
and I am very excited that we are moving forward with our project to build two new hospitals in San Francisco. For the past five years, I have worked at CPMC, both at the Pacific Campus and at the St. Luke's Campus. I must say that while our nurses are proud of the wonderful care that we provide to our patients, Think about how much more we will be able to achieve with new facilities that have built into them the newest technology available. From first-hand experience, I can tell you that our staff are looking forward to the completion of this project, mainly because these new hospitals will create a much improved working environment for all of us, and it will also provide a greater level of pride in the work that we do. Most importantly, for our patients, the new hospitals will bring a more pleasant healing environment and an improved experience of care. For our patients' families, the new hospitals will provide a greater feeling of assurance that their loved ones are receiving the best quality care possible. For our community, especially near St. Luke's, the new hospital represents community pride. In my current position at St. Luke's, I know that a new hospital will be very uplifting for the community. St. Luke's has long been held as a hospital that is a center of healing with a long history and deep roots. Dr. Browner, I would like you to know from the nurses at St. Luke's that we are very proud to be that center of healing for the community and we are very proud to be a part of St. Luke's and CPMC. Lastly, to all involved in the Rebuild CPMC project, on behalf of all the nurses, I would like to extend our sincerest thanks, our gratitude for all of your hard work and dedication in making all of this possible. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Good morning, I'm Warren Browner, the CEO of CPMC, and I can honestly say that there were many times when I thought I would never see this day come. Um, and as I was driving here this morning, somehow I was reminded of the story of the little boy who bangs his head against the wall and his mom comes up to him and says, why are you doing that? And he says, because it feels so good when I stop. And we have definitely stopped, and this is really a great moment, and there are so many people to thank. So let me begin um, by thanking the members of our Board of Trustees and the members of the Sutter Health Board of Trustees who stuck with us through innumerable times when I would get up before them or Mike or Martin Brotman and explain why it was that things were just taking so long. So Bob Tomasello, the chair of our board, we owe you a special uh, gratitude. I also see many supporters who showed up at innumerable events, at hearings, at committee meetings to testify as to why we needed these new hospitals. We've had a special celebration to thank all of you, but I do want to thank all of you again. And I want to thank someone sitting right next to Bob, Grant Davies, who's our executive vice president at CPMC who, when the times really got tough, was the person whose office I would go into who would just say, stick it out, it's gonna happen, relax, stay calm, keep on the high road, and so it's a great feeling to be here today. <clears throat> and I wanna say, and, and we intentionally had everybody sitting in these chairs and looking up here, because the one thing that was never at issue was no one got up and said, this is a beautiful building that needs to be preserved. Because <laughs> I, I remember moving to San Francisco in the mid 70s and driving by this place thinking, really? So we will not miss you hotel, sorry, or office building or video only or whatever was around. We really look forward. Some of you even said that it'll be prettier as a construction site than it, <laughs> it is right now. And I think you're absolutely right. So thank you to everyone, to my friend Mike Cohill, to the two of the three amigos who, show, who are here today, Mark Farrell, David Chu, and David Campos, and of course, Mayor Lee, your staff, Ken Rich, for helping us get to this day. 
you're all invited back in five years when we do the ribbon cutting and actually that's the reason we're here is to open new hospitals to take care of all of us when we're in need so thank you all for coming um <clears throat> thank you all for support